Hey everybody, welcome to Web World, Web World. I'm your host, Doug Bocas Larson, and I'm going to introduce you to the wonderful world of web design. And this is for people that have never made a web page before. This is from the very start. So here we go. I'm going to use Firefox, and what you do is you open your web browser. Now you may have Firefox, you may have Internet Explorer, uh, there's other browsers as well, but uh, so I'm going to be using Firefox, and I'm using Apple OS 10, so it's a little different than what you might be used to, so, but it should be similar enough you'll be okay. So basically, you need to open your web browser, and we'll get started from there. So here we go. And I'm assuming since the, if you're taking a web course, you probably have been on the web. So, <laughs> uh, so my lovely assistant, uh, Vanna White, will be helping me here. And so she'll be clicking on things as we go. Now, uh, what, we're gonna do, what we're going to do is this is a web page that I created. Um, I primarily used the programming language HTML. But we're going to start out really simply and make a GeoCities web page. So GeoCities, if we come up here, what we do is we go up to your address area, and we're going to type in the URL www.geocities.com. Go ahead and you can click in here to select it. So click once. And see how the whole thing highlights? And you can hit delete, or you can just start typing www. Just start typing www. Good. Dot geocities, G E O C I T I E S dot com. and hit return or enter. Go and click hit return or enter on your keyboard. There you go, Vanna got it. Good job, Vanna. All right, <laughs> now, this is, GeoCities is now owned by Yahoo, so that's why we went to a Yahoo page. Uh, the address up here did change, but don't worry about that. Now, if you have a Yahoo account, you can just log in right away into GeoCities, uh, and it'll get you started. But if you've never had a, an account, then you need to set one up. So let's go ahead and do that now, and then we'll go back and start again in a minute. So those of you that have already, that already have a Yahoo account, you can skip ahead here a little bit. Otherwise, we will continue. Go ahead and click on sign in as a different user. It's right here. And here we go. If you've never used Yahoo before, this is probably what you're seeing. So what you're going to do is what we're going to don't have a Yahoo ID. And Vanna, go ahead and click sign up. And we need to sign up here. So you can put your name, do Vanna White. Make sure you click in the box first. Select what you want to effect. So, so we type Vanna and click over here. White. And then gender. Select, are you female Vanna? <laughs> her, deep, her deep voice there. Okay, good. Female. Birthday. How old are you, Vanna? <laughs> she's born, hey, she's born February. And 14th, uh, 1920, something like that. <laughs> All right. And her postal code is 90210, probably. <laughs> All right. And then 
and her, okay, so what you need to do here is you select an ID and a password. And so let's say Wheel O or Vanna O Fortune or something like that. Vanna O Fortune. All right, and it says select four to 32 characters and start with a letter. You can use numbers, letters, underscores, all that. So we'll try this and see if anybody else, somebody else may already have this. So you do want to choose something unusual. If you choose, if you try Bob at yahoo.com, that's probably already taken. So you're probably not going to get that. Next, so we have Vanna O'Fortune at Yahoo. Password, it needs to be six to 32 characters, no spaces, and don't use the same thing you use for your ID or your real name. So password, uh, we're going to do, uh, let's see, Wheel, is that enough letters? W-H-E-E-L, no. Wheel of fortune. <laughs> sure. Someone might think I actually like that show. <laughs> okay, so you click on the next one, and you type the same exact password again. It does tell you how secure your password so if secu is. So if, you, if, you're care if you're worried about password security, you can change it and try to make it as high as possible. The, the more unusual the word or phrase, if you add numbers, things like that, it makes it more and more secure. Next, okay, so forgot, in case you forget, do you put an alternative email? Uh, so down here you have another email address. So we can do uh, vanna at nmsu.edu. That's her school email account. Uh -huh. .edu. Security question. So we click here for the security question. And it says, where did you meet your spouse? What was the first name of your school childhood hero? Favorite pastime? Let's do favorite pastime. And what's Vanna? Vanna, what's your favorite pastime? Game shows? Reading. Reading. Okay. Yeah, she loves those letters. All right. And now here, this is an encryption. So uh, what it does is it, it's so a computer cannot automatically sign up for a bunch of accounts. So that's why they have the security. Now we're supposed to type this, but I can't even read that. So if that, if that happens, you can click on this here. There's a little button here, this little double, and this will refresh it. Okay, this is a little easier to read, I think. Can you read that, Vanna? Yeah. Okay, so click in there. It's B F H three eight four J D. Okay, and it says, "Do you agree?" You put a check there, right down here. Now, this is the thing that can be a little frustrating. If there's somebody already has your account name or there's a mistake, it'll make you start over. So it's good to look everything over and make sure you got it. Let's go ahead and click Create My Account. Hope, cross your fingers and hope you get it. Cross those fingers. And yay, Vanna! Congratulations, Vanna! You did it! Yay! What do they say on Wheel of Fortune? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Now, you may continue, so we'll click continue over here. And you wait, and you wait, and you wait. 